Okay. I would like to share a resource with you about learning about the speech sounds, and in particular ones of German. Uh, one, one tool that I particularly like is from the University of Iowa. So let's search for University of Iowa phonetics. And it's the first result in this case. So I'll click there. And their tools they have for American English, German, and Spanish. Uh, right now I'm going to show you the German tools. So phonetics is the study of the sounds of language. And here, the, unfortunately, these terms are written in German, so if you don't read German, it makes it a little more difficult. But I'm going to highlight the areas that are uh, special sounds for German that are more difficult and different for those who are used to English. Um, under this side, we have consonant sounds, and we have um, we have the, uh, we're going to look at the fricatives, so we could click on different uh, areas here. And so this is the place of articulation, uh, whether it's uh, voiced or unvoiced, but we're going to focus on the um, manner of articulation. And here we have uh, fricatives have several sounds that we don't have. Um, so uh, to give you an example uh, of one that we do have is the S as in sit, see, uh, say, and so we have a symbol that represents that sound. We have an animation of what goes on during inside the mouth. We have some example words in German that have that sound, and also you can watch the video of these, sound, of these words being pronounced. Um, let's go to the animation. At the animation, you can click play and you can hear it and see what goes on. Now, maybe if you're not familiar with uh, phonetics, then you may not know what's important that you just saw there. So you could click on the step-by-step -step description, and it'll show you, uh, unfortunately, again, this is in German, so if you don't read German, uh, it's less informative here. But uh, here, it's highlighting the fact that here, the tongue tip is going to the uh, alveolar ridge here. So this is highlighting where the action is going on and also it's pointing out that the air is only going through your mouth and not through your nose and also it's pointing out that um, you're not making a voice sound okay and it points out some more position of the tongue issues so we have this sound in English we also have an sh uh, sh sound in English which German has And again, that is, involves some rounding of the lips and the tongue a little further back than when it was for the S. Uh, also, air only going through the mouth and no voicing of your vocal cords. But now let's go to a sound that English does not have uh, natively, and this is the sh sound, which is in the German words mich and licht. The animation is this. And by clicking on this description, we see that this, the focus point here is a, a little more central than the S and the H were up here. Um, like the others though, the air is not going through the nose, just through the mouth. And again, there's no voicing going on. Okay, this other sound in German. Oh, let me go back. So then, just so we know that this, what, what it's said in is mich is an example. We can click here and see the video. And so these tools all together are a way to uh, get a better understanding of how these sounds are made and hopefully for you to learn how to say them. Now let's look at the the sound which is we're going to find out where it's located and what it sounds like. 
All right, so this, this one is in words like Buch and Kuchen. Uh, so this is uh, and Woche, uh, week, book. Um, so this is happening even further back in the mouth. So the back of the tongue and this velum, which is a, a part of your vocal tract that cuts off the air to your nose, through your nose. So again, no air going through the nose and just through the mouth, and then no voicing going on. Um, and so some of these examples. Okay. Now another sound is the air. Uh, this is in all the R sounds in German. Um, Okay, so let's see what's going on inside the mouth. Now, we see that the action is going back here, kind of like it was almost the same place as for the that we saw a second ago. Um, the uh, sound is only going through the mouth and not, this is not through the nose. Um, here, it is voiced, unlike the others. So we'll see here that it's moving. So this is a voiced sound. That's another way that it's different. Okay, so now we've gone over as in mich and as in nacht and er as in rot. These are three sounds that are different. And a couple others to note are the vowels up here. The monothongs forward, central, and rear. Uh, the front ones are a little bit different. We have E and I, but we don't have These are like an oo in the back. But it's rounded. It's fronted and rounded here. E. So it's like it's like the e. The tongue does the same thing as the e except the lips round. And these are, anytime you have the U and the umlaut, or the Y, that's the sound that's made. Now, if you have the O with the umlaut over, then it's going to be one of these two. This is kind of like the A, except just rounding the lips. Okay. I hope this helps, and I hope you enjoy playing with this.